How to set up the Mark Minervini train template? If you read Mark Minervini's book like Think and Trade Like a Champion and the Mark Minervini's other book which is Trade Like a Stock Market Wizard, then the core concept or the starting point if you want to trade stocks like Mark Minervini is to set up his trend template or the series of criteria which a stock needs to be uh, satisfying for it to be considered for trading. Now let's have a quick look at what are those trend template criteria because once you understand those trend template criteria which Mark Minervini uses, you can set it up yourself in telechart and look at the same set of stocks and probably model your trading based on what he does. Now this is the Mark Minervini trend template. That Mark Minervini trend template is there in the book one and this is uh, basically what it says, the eight criteria as which he looks before considering his stocks to buy. The first criteria is basically the stock price has to be about 150 days and 200 day moving average. Then the 150 day moving average has to be about 200 day moving average. The 200 day moving average has to be trending for at least one month and the 50 day moving average has to be above both 150 and 200 day moving average. So bunch of moving averages. Now basically if you understand momentum, these are all momentum criteria or these are trend criteria. By using these trend filters, what you're ensuring this stock has an established momentum basically or established trend, which is another word of uh, saying the same thing. Now, the current stock price is trading about 50 day moving average, so obviously it will be trading about 150 and 200 day moving average also. Now, the next criteria is basically where he says the stock price has to be at least 30% above its 52 week low. So basically, uh, the stock has to go up 30% from its 52 week low to be considered uh, for buying uh, in his model. And the current stock is price is within at least 25% of 52 week high. Now, this particular reason for this particular criteria is basically if you have a stock which goes up say 400 500 percent and corrects 40 percent or 50 percent you don't want it to be considered for trading so that's why that 25 percent will eliminate stocks which correct sharply uh, they might have still they might be above 150 day moving average 200 day or 50 day moving average but that's not the kind of stock uh, which fits his definition of trade and then uh, there is a relative strength ranking which is the investor business daily ranking about 70 now this is something which uh, you cannot uh, do it in telechart straight way like you cannot create the same thing but uh, you can mimic and the mimic criteria or the mimic sort which you can use will get you 98 percent similar ranking as what investor business daily does and in order to do that, you just need to understand how Investor Business Delhi does what it does, which it calls it proprietary ranking. It is proprietary ranking uh, in the sense that if you understand what is behind it, uh, you will know how to find it. The way IBD calculates this is basically a weighted average of uh, three or four prizes over different time period. So in order to find that, kind of a ranking in telechart what you'll have to do is uh, basically create a similar kind of a ranking in telechart uh, which basically looks for the price ranking by weighing different giving different weights to the uh, stocks prices above like say uh, basically in a very simple word, if I had to explain to you what it is, is basically it is a ranking whereby you are looking at uh, giving two times weightage to a quarter's price and less weightage or one weight to six months price and one weight to the uh, one year price. So that way the recent price gets double the weightage. And then using that particular criteria, you can create a ranking mechanism and you will see that uh, there are multiple times I have talked about this on the public blog and also on the member site where there's a PCF also which you can do. But in this particular video, I'm not going to get into that because that's a video by itself and I'll make a video about it sometime uh, to show you how to do that. But if you forget about that, uh, just putting in this seven criteria will get you bulk of the stocks. So once you have that, what do you do? Basically, you convert this particular thing into a PCF or a 
uh, telechart scan and in order to do that I'll show you how to do it in telechart very easily. First is you need to convert it into a telechart scan basically. In order to convert into a telechart scan you need to like understand each of this term and I already done it to save time and I'll show you on the next slide how to do it and I'll pause that I'll put it on that slide for a couple of seconds so that you can copy and look at that particular uh, thing. Now if you saw the Miner Mini trend template it said like price has to be about 200 day moving average so price is about 200 day moving average price has to be about 150 day moving average price is about 150 day moving average this is how you write the conditions and 50 to 150 day moving average is about 200 day moving average so this is the condition and average C200 is greater than average C200.25 which will basically give you the condition which is that this particular stock so basically this will give you a stock which is trending up for last 25 days or whose average 200 day moving average is trending up for last 25 days and average C50 is greater than average C200 and then average C50 is above 50, 150 day moving average and uh, uh, C is above average C50 which is basically price is above uh, 50 day moving average and C is 1.3 multiplied by mean low 252 so what it gives you is the stock which is up at least 30 percent from its 252 uh, day low 252 days is like basically 52 week into trading terms and uh, the price is within 25 percent of 52 week high so that if you under apply all these conditions then you will get stocks uh, so here is like another same scan basically i put it on chart and you will get the same set of conditions which have been put in here so in order to put it here what you have to do is left click and go for add a plot and put it under custom PCA plus true indicator and then you can create the same scan in conditions and uh, put it under conditions as the same exact kind of a scan uh, and I have it under so you will see that here um, It's the same scan basically which is there and you will find that same scan okay once you have that then you can like just create a PCF which is like this which is basically uh, universe liquidity is true mineral revenue is true and if you see the poor stock which you post a lot of time uh, the liquidity is very low so because the liquidity is low what you can do is you can like basically not put this condition then you'll get even the illiquid stock so once you have this and once you run the scan you'll get 574 stocks now this is the starting point like after that you need to have a process to go through those charts and basically uh, identify good setups according to his definition of setups but for that to do that you need to just like kind of first set this up now if you have set this up then the 90 percent 95 percent of the work is after the market close is when you have to go through these charts and find the kind of setup which it looks for which it defines as vcp or pullback there are a couple of two three different kinds of setups which it looks for and you can go through the book to look at detail but let's look at some of the examples which you tweeted recently like Fleur. okay now this stock will show up in your uh, universe here and probably you can figure out like you know this is a vcp pattern so probably he must have entered here or on this day so that's basically like stock had a very um, constructive pattern here uh, and then series of narrow range day and then it set up and that's probably the entry point here probably that's a small handle basically now after a couple of shakeouts uh, the other stock which he posted was recently was Citibank and you can like figure out where he, his entry would have been I would say that it would have been on this day or this day probably this day or this day because again this is VCP like on a 1C, 2C, 3C uh, small handle so that's like on a 3C kind of a setup if you understand his book and that's like an example of that or like say if you look at say something like Baba probably which he had tweeted long time ago probably his entry would have been somewhere like here I would say that probably here and it's a large stock and it made like an around 20% after that so once you set this up uh, then really the work starts and uh, you can uh, once you set it up you can do many things uh, to reduce the time you spent on this by just basically uh, setting up 
bunch of other scans like anticipation scans or uh, low threshold breakout scans or breakout scan on this universe so that you can find the similar kind of uh, stocks. So if you like this kind of videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.